Hi guys, it's Rob Renke here. I hope you're doing very, very well. So, today's video is called Five Top Tips for Dealing with Toxic People in 2020, which, as you may have guessed, is the year of this recording. So, tip one for dealing with toxic people you have to set boundaries. You know, um, I'm lucky to be quite low in compassion, I think, which is a misleading sentence, let me explain. Um, <laughs> feeling the pain of others. Like, I feel guilt if I think I've hurt someone and I have suffered greatly over the thought of lambs or pigs in abattoirs, but I don't make a video with the, with the, the drive to make a video for me isn't, oh my God, all those poor suffering people need my help. Um, it's, it's kind of, I get fulfillment from making them. And I think as a more eff effective and genuine byproduct of that, maybe I'm doing this to me, <laughs> is that people don't feel patronized and they can relate to the honesty in it. Uh, anyway, slight side note there. So if you're high in agreeableness, if you're very compassionate and polite and you want to say yes to things and you may secretly resent that, then you definitely need to practice uh, setting boundaries. Everyone does it, you know? Um, you don't sleep with everyone who asks you. You don't marry everyone who asks you. You don't <laughs> employ everyone who asks you. Uh, you don't get employed by everyone you ask, and so it goes. Okay, tip two for dealing with toxic people. Assert yourself and tell them what you need, okay? Got to be polite also firm but fair, which is rule one in teaching situations, by the way. Uh, you have to give and show and set an example of total honesty. Do you know what I mean? Um, just say to them, make it your problem, not theirs. Like, look, honestly, when you do this, it makes me feel this. I know it's my problem uh, and I need to deal with it, but I just want you to be aware of it. It's way better, as I've said before, than going, you do this and you do that, and because that's just fuels with fire and it's going to create more conflict. You could even practice such a conversation um, in the mirror, or even more vainly, record a video. Tip three <laughs> for dealing with toxic people. Use your support system. Use people around you, friends, family who aren't toxic in real life, even better, or even just a, a phone call or a, a voice note or a text message or... A, Tumblr message, or an Instagram message, or a Twitter message, or Telegram message, or all the rest, all the rest, that will probably go out of fashion in about two years. Um, so people can be a bit like a substance, toxic or non-toxic. So the side in mushrooms, I'm sure a lot of you are reading more and more in the mainstream press, but some of us have known for a long, long time, uh, are non-toxic, and in fact extremely beneficial under the right circumstances, so as is LSD. Whereas most other drugs, uh, including MDMA, are proven to be neurotoxic and different kinds of toxic to different degrees. Um, expect pushback from the toxic person when you get your support system involved, when you set the boundaries, when you assert yourself. Um, because they're probably depressed and like I say, it's, it's very unlikely they're going to say, you know what, you're right, I'm going to treat you totally differently and then follow through on that. Um, maybe you can see a therapist about it as well to get some good tips, like tip four, <laughs> which is model behavior um, that you want to see from them, you know? So you're on the phone to them and you talk non-stop about yourself for two minutes so they can't get a word in. and then you say oh sorry I've talked way too much about myself um, just now how, how are things for you you know a little introduction like that um, could work tip five for dealing with toxic people if, it, if tips one two three and four don't work you can just cut them out cut them out of your life and that sounds ruthless but if someone's ruining your life and, and manipulating you and bullying you and making you feel bad and guilt tripping you constantly and just adding a huge unnecessarily unnecessary negative load onto your psyche, which is already quite loaded, you may have noticed. Um, <laughs> you, yeah, 
cutting out. I'm sure we've all done it once, or should have done it once, um, at least. Ultimatums do, I can say from personal experience, do work as well. Um, obviously they're <laughs> very tightly interlinked with uh, the cutting out of things, and I think these things are healthy self-protection. Self There's nothing wrong with, um, you know, not wanting 10 murderers to come to your house. It's a self-preservation for not wanting 10 friends who are going to turn up and, and make you feel really bad. It's, it's, it's not illogical or selfish in a bad way. It's, it's self-preservation. It's you've got to look after yourself. Before, you've got to bring peace to yourself and look after yourself if you've got any chance of, of giving back to the world. And if you overstretch yourself and overspread yourself like too thin butter, um, trying to please everyone, you're going to fail and you're, you're going to resent it and they're going to resent it. Uh, that's a healthy type of selfishness, a healthy type of self-preservation, a, help, a healthy type of self... Um, what would be the word? Hygiene, perhaps. Um, you might feel totally drained by this person. You know, they could be sapping all of your life force that could be going out in many other positive directions. Um... But hopefully it won't come to that. You could either, just to recap, <laughs> set boundaries, tip one. Assert yourself and tell them what you need, tip two. Use your support system, tip three for sure. Model behavior you want them to see, tip four for sure. And tip five, if one, two, three, four don't work, maybe consider cutting this person out of your life. And on that cheery note, I will say, <laughs> please leave any comments, guys, tips I'm missing. I know five is a low number, but there's something about it. Uh, like the something about seven, the biblical number. Um, to quote Tony Blair, and it's a bit against Christopher Hitchens. Anyway, please subscribe this, share this, subscribe to this, share this, like it with a thumbs up thing, leave comments, slagging me off, praising me. I, it's all the same at this point. Have a great day, carp DM, live the life fantastic, and remember that throwing a party is technically a, a political act. <laughs>